I wanna set up a new pocket-based database on fly.io. I've never done this before, and if you've never done this before, then let's do this together. Let's jump in. First things first, I have three panes open, my fly.io account logged in, I have the documentation for pocket-based, and then a terminal. And I already installed the Fly CLI some time ago. So let's go to frequently asked questions. The first one is, do you offer hosting? And they recommend fly.io with this example. It says we need to create a pocket base Docker file. I'm not exactly sure what that means yet. Don't really know much about Docker, to be honest. I've already installed Fly and I have an account, so I just need to log in. So it says navigate to the directory where the Docker file was created. So I am gonna copy that and just make it wherever, but I didn't even know what they're called. So I think we just use Docker file. So touch Docker file, we'll vim that, paste in what we had before and write that out. Let's run that fly control launch command and see what happens. So it detected our Docker file. Uh, choose an app name, leave it blank to generate one. Um, yep, we're gonna be in Los Angeles, California. Created the app Broken Morning 148, and then that lives at fly.io by that same project name. Okay, uh, would you like to set up a post Postgres database now? Um, no, I think. Uh, would you like to set up an Upstash Redis database now? No, I think. Okay, so we wrote the config file, fly.toml. Uh, would you like to deploy now? Uh, I Let's say no. So we can run fly control to deploy it when we're ready. All right, so we need to run this command here to set up that volume. Do you still wanna use the volume? Yes. Los Angeles. Okay, now I'm gonna open this fly.toml file. Grab this and put it in there. Okay, it says it should look something like this. I assume that it does. <laughs> ah, let's double check. Yeah, no, it doesn't look anything like that actually. Let's try and go with what we have generated for us and see how it goes. Final step, deploy. So run fly control, deploy. Now this is doing its thing. So uh, I thought I'd note that it's pretty cool that you can run some backup. So it'll hold a five day backup um, and then we can uh, run these commands to pull those backups. Speaking of backups, let's talk about my reasoning for choosing pocket base. I have some very small needs for my personal site where I want to have a database where I can post some basically streaks, like how well I'm doing eating or tracking my weight and all that kind of stuff. I like pocket base because it uses SQLite. SQLite is an embeddable embeddable database and so it's basically just a single executable and then alongside of it there's a file with all of the data in there so it's really cool it's just these two files the cool thing about pocket base is that it actually has this full ui layer on top of it now i could use something like firebase or superbase or like whatever but i don't really like being locked into someone else's service uh, theoretically i could just take this pocket base and the data and just move it anywhere else. So that's why I landed on it for my personal needs. Okay, let's see if it's done. Okay, so I made a big mistake and I set this up in my user directory, which is um, the why it was taking so long. It shouldn't have been uploading all of the stuff in my user directory uh, to the cloud. Let's make a new directory in the code directory uh, called chan.dev. Move in our fly.io file. And the same thing for our Docker file, uh, code chan.dev as well. Let's go there and see what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna run fly control again and see if I can deploy it from this directory. Okay, so this makes a lot more sense. When it's build sending the build context, that's just 413 bytes as opposed to the like gigabyte or so that I had started to send before canceling it. It says we can watch at this URL. I'll copy that and it finished the deploy. So let's check out that URL first. This is the monitoring URL. Um, this is saying the name is Floral Sunset, but let's check out the application URL. Okay, code 404, message not found. Overview. Let's jump back to pocket base instructions. So let's go to documentation here. Uh, got everything going. So this is gonna serve static content of which we have none. So let's try checking out the admin URL. Go to our site that is empty. I'm gonna go to our admin URL. Oh my gosh, and there we go. So I'll create an admin user right now. 
And here we are, we have our pocket base fully set up in the cloud, ready to do whatever we need to with it. So that's it. Apart from my basic, basic mistake, which I hope helped you, uh, this was pretty easy. I was uh, feeling kind of worried about setting this up and uh, you know, us doing it together made it super simple. So if you have things that you may be afraid of setting up for the first time that you think would be fun to do with me, let me know and uh, maybe I'll make a video on it. Until then, I got plenty of other videos right here that you may find interesting. Uh, I hope to see you around and uh, See you again soon. Bye.